Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Edward, and in today's episode, I'm going to share with you my feedback on Razer's Hammerhead True Wireless Pro earbuds after using it for four months as my daily driver, temporarily replacing my AirPods Pro. I'll first go over the technical specifications and then share with you why, in my opinion, I think that these earbuds are not quite ideal as daily drivers, even though they sound better than the AirPods, but instead more oriented towards gamers on the go. And if you are short on time, feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps in the description below. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and that's ANC on. To be honest, the first impression I had when I unboxed these earbuds was how similar they looked and feel to the standard Razer True Wireless Buds. Costing at double the price, I was expecting a slightly better grade plastic to be used for the case or holder, but instead it's the same material as the Razer True Wireless case that I reviewed a year ago. So I was a little bit disappointed because the old case was easily scratched and scuffed when you put them in your pocket on a daily basis. And only after 3 months of daily use, the case looked pretty worn already. However, this time around, you can pay an additional $30 for Razer's protective case that's made of more durable TPU, but it would have been nice if it was already included in the package at this expensive $200 price tag. As for the earbuds, Razer kept the stem design which measures at 36mm in length and 20mm in width excluding the tips, which is almost the same size as their predecessors. Though, this time around, the Pro Buds features an in-ear design which I personally prefer a lot more over the previous open-ear design. There are also 7 sets, that's right, 7 sets of ear tips in total to help you find the best fit, which is really really nice. One is a pair of premium size M Compli foam tips which provides the best customized fit and comfort, while the other 6 sets consist of 3 pairs of different sizes of soft secure seal translucent silicone tips and 3 pairs of smooth comfort black silicone tips. The smooth comfort tips are your standard ear tips and provide a nice seal with a moderate amount of external noise isolation, while the secure seal tips are slightly stiffer but provide a better grip during exercises and has a slightly more secure seal and better sound isolation. Powered by 10mm drivers, they are 3mm smaller than the, pre the drivers in the predecessor, but are still equally as loud and can reproduce each frequency range more accurately. Though, this time around, the Hammerhead True Wireless Pros come with active noise cancellation and an ambient mode, which works, but not as well as other noise cancelling earbuds, but I'll go more into that later. There's also now a proximity sensor in the earbuds that will by default pause playback when you remove an earbud, so that's an improvement over the previous model. There are also two microphones, one for noise cancellation facing outwards, and one used for calls underneath the stem. Here's how they sound like. This is a mic test of Razer's Hammerhead True Wireless Pros with no ambient noises, and they sound pretty decent and clear. Next is a mic test of Razer's Hammerhead True Wireless Pro with a busy scene from a movie playing loudly in the background about 3 feet away to give you an idea how well the mic can filter out and run it noises. There are also touch panels with Razer's logo that still do not light up on each earbud and are used to control the earbuds via single tap, double tap, triple tap, tap and hold, triple tap and hold the last tap. But if you don't like these default functions, they can be reconfigured to other functions via Razer's mobile app, but it's a pity that the option for volume control is still missing. And talking about the app, there are a few sound presets from Razer which are kind of meh. But the default THX sound profile sounds pretty good in my opinion. But the greatest part is that this time around, there is an equalizer in the app which allows you to fully adjust each frequency to get the sound profile that you like. And aside from that, the earbuds are rated at IPX4 and connect via Bluetooth 5.1 and can be switched to Razer's ultra low latency which decreases audio latency to 60 milliseconds to keep your competitive gaming audio stutter free gaming and in mode. sync with the action on screen. And having played plenty of games with Razer's Hammerhead True Wireless Pros on PC, Android, iPhone, it really does work pretty well. 
During the past four months of gaming with the Hammerhead 2 wireless pros on multiple platforms, these earbuds, in my opinion, really do stand out from other ANC earbuds, especially with its gaming mode. When using with my PC and laptop for gaming, there's no noticeable audio delay in first-person shooters with gaming mode on and works almost as well as those 2.4GHz headphones. Unlike the AirPods Pro or other ear, uh, Bluetooth earbuds which will have a little delay. And although it is not as ideal as using a good pair of over-ear gaming headphones, but on the contrary, the Hammerhead True Wireless Pros do have the benefit of being a gaming-grade audio device that is easy to carry around for gaming on the go. As for gaming on my iPhone, there was not much distinguishable audio delay between the AirPods Pro and the Hammerhead True Wireless Pros, but the bass and louder volume on the Hammerheads made those gunshots and explosions much more enjoyable than the AirPods Pro. However, when it comes to gaming on my Android phone, the audio delay was quite noticeable between the AirPods Pro and the Hammerhead Pros. When playing the same game on my Samsung Galaxy with the AirPods Pro, there was a very uh, noticeable audio delay. Not much, but it's there. Bomb acquired. And when switching over to the Hammerhead Pros, this is where the Hammerheads stand out from other true wireless earbuds with its gaming mode which eliminates the audio delay. And aside from being great for on-the-go gaming, they were also great for the type of music I listen to and watching movies on Netflix. But the one thing that I wish Razer did better was the active noise ca cancellation. It works to a degree in filtering out outside noises, but there are still some noises that will like leak in. And from my experience, constant noises like crowd chatter at a subway station will be cancelled out. ANC on. But sudden loud noises like announcements or train doors, closing warning beeps can still be heard unlike the AirPods Pro which can cancel out most of the noises. As for the ambient mode, it works, but the quality of uh, ambient sounds that gets let inside is slightly lower and not as natural, and therefore at times sounds muted and cannot be heard over the current uh, media that's playing in the earbuds. I'm not sure this is because of the quality of the external microphone used is not as good as the ones on the AirPods Pro, or because the drivers are just too powerful when playing content. But this becomes a problem for me when using the Hammerhead Pros at my office during work hours. When I have both earbuds on and set to ambient mode, most of the times I still cannot hear the phone on my desk ring or my colleagues calling my name. I mean, if the ambient sound is loud enough like a car's horn or somebody dropping something next to you, you can hear it, but it would be great if it was a little bit better. So, other than the mediocre noise cancellation and ambient mode, the only other two things that about Razer's Hammerhead True Wireless Pros that bothered me was how it sometimes was difficult to pull the earbuds out from its case when my hands are really dry due to the material use being too smooth. So I would have to pull it out by pinching on the ear tips, which is not ideal as it will add to the wear and tear of the ear tips. And the other thing was the lack of wireless charging function on the case at this price range, which means I will need to have a USB-C cable around in case I need to charge it. But luckily, the 20 hours of battery life was enough to get me through an usual day, so I never had to use that cable. But overall, I think the Hammerhead True Wireless Pros are a pair of great sounding earbuds, but not really the best fit as daily drivers, especially if you have already used or are currently using other noise cancelling true wireless earbuds like the AirPods Pro or Sony's WF-1000 XM3s. However, if you're looking for a pair of true wireless earbuds, especially for gaming on the go, I would definitely recommend the Hammerhead's True Wireless Pros, but not at $200, so maybe get them when they're at a discount. All right, if you have questions about these earbuds, Feel free to leave them in the comments below and thank you as always for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button as it will help this channel a lot more than you know it and I'll see you again in the next video.